We end up having a lot of toys that are maybe not supposed to be used anymore. <laughs> oh my our house. gosh, you got Randy's it's toys missing heads. Parents to keep Suddenly I stopped producing breast milk, so now I collect breast milk for my friends. Oh, wow. Amy is for my yoga class. Ron spends a total of $20 decking out both his house. Nah, this gotta be, bro, two shirts? That this are extremely gross. valuable, especially when you're paying, what, $30, $35 a pound at least? Look at this. I mean, who leaves the table like this? Wow. Delicious. I this know. nasty. He lying. He lying. Turn it up. Boom. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Yup, we're back. We're back with another video. Welcome back, Dukes and Duke Gets. Welcome back to the newcomers. Or not welcome back, but welcome to the newcomers. It's your man, Eddie Ed. It's Eddie Ed TV. Back with another reaction. We are doing a video from Cheap Skates. Extreme Cheap Skates. So if you guys have ever seen this show, you guys know, like, this is... It, you know what I think? I think some of them are acting. Some of them are, if not all. Am I wrong? Some just seem to, some just seem too funny about some of them, and then others you can tell like, okay, this person might really be a little bit cheap like this. Uh, but I've seen some where I question if it's if it's real or if it's just a show, like if it's scripted. But let me know. I don't know for sure. I'm just saying what I think. Uh, but get in the comments after the video. Let's hop straight into it. Extreme cheesecake. Extreme cheap skates. Um, I'm 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 <laughs> I'm gonna be. On edge to see what this is, but let's hop it straight into it. Hey, folks. Let's get there it. There you go. <laughs> what, what is that? That's our food. Uh. He grabbed three plates, thinking he was going to pay for three people, but there were six of us. You only pay for three That's plates. That's delicious. I know I got your favorites. You only pay for three plates. If I have more than this number of plates, then I have to pay for more people. Whoa. Look, oh, it's a bridge. It's a bridge. You got to be careful. You got to be careful. Uh -oh. Whoa, it's not a slide. It's a bridge. <laughs> you, have to, you have to walk. Oh, do you think it's a slide? <laughs> Whoa, Chloe. What is that? Oh, Ooh. look. <gasps> Ain't no oh, look. Kids leave toys all the time. If they're unclaimed, why not pick them up and take it home with you? Because they're free. It's perfectly oh fine. Gosh, we just wash man. it off and it's clean. It's, it's missing two it's wheels. Missing two wheels. She baby. can still play with it, Vic. We Look end up her. having a lot of toys that are maybe not supposed to be used anymore. <laughs> oh my your house. gosh! You got Randy's it's toys not easy missing for heads. Parents to keep romance alive. It's hard to find time, you know, with Chloe, with me and him working. So it. It's good to keep the romance alive. But for Apple Malesho, a full-time model and mom, it's even more difficult. All of her spare time is spent slashing her family's expenses. When we first had Chloe, I noticed her being frug more frugal than she normally <laughs> normally was. Chloe, it's time for your milk. Oh no. Suddenly I stopped producing breast milk, so now I collect breast milk for my friends. <laughs> yoga class. Uh, Jessica is actually one of my co-workers. Um, Brandy, we do play dates with her. This is Jennifer's milk. Megan's, more Jessica's. Chloe prefers Jessica's milk over anyone else's breast milk. I mean, this is her fave. She'll drink the others, but this is more her preference. Vic! Drinking someone else's breast mix milk's a little bit weird, but she kind of insisted on using it. Free breast milk saves Apple over $1,000 a year off the cost of fortified toddler milk. Do you like it, Chloe? Mm -hmm. How Having old a is baby she? made me more obsessed with saving money. After college, I was cheap. But then, after having a baby, it made me extremely cheap. People buy baby wipes, moist towelettes, but instead, I like to make them at home. Okay. Okay. There you go. You have moist towelettes. I use this to wipe my hands with it. 
and uh, or wipe the tables, like our, my kitchen table, my kitchen counter. This is totally reusable still, so Ew. I put it in what you, this container. What you mean? And this one is Chloe's baby wipe, so I use the wipe too. I guess just recently we had this argument reusing the wipes in different ways like that it should be discarded. Yeah. That's Apple's nice. homemade wipe saves her 50 cents a day for six diaper changes. No, bro. A changing table is one of the most expensive things that a new First mom of all, has why do you need a changing table for? You got the carpet, you put a blanket over there, you got the, you just put a blanket wherever you need to do the, the change. You got the bed. Come on, man. You need a, you don't need that. You don't need a changing table for that, man. You don't need no changing table. I promise you that. I so instead of spending two hundred dollars on a changing table, I got mine for free at a gas station that was going out of business. When Apple first brought home a used changing table from the gas station. I thought it's kind of weird. Things from the gas station aren't clean. Victor thought. Look how the guy is, though. The guy is like. The way he's talking, man, he's talking way too soft. Oh, my ear. He's talking way too soft. Ah, hold on. This guy's talking way too soft for my liking, man. You like, put some bass in there, man. He way too calm about this situation. This is gross. Of the changing table as ugly and dirty when I first brought it home, but we washed the top layer and we cleaned it. People use changing tables all the time, so why not use this one? I mean, we can't sound like we can't afford a new changing table. And as Apple has found ways to save on baby wipes and changing tables, she's also found a way to save $450 on diapers themselves. Why not use t-shirts to make reusable cloth diapers? You cut the sides and cut the sleeves off, and then fold the flaps. And there you go. Oh, this got to be a joke. I can see myself in the plate. Yeah, it's got to be a joke. Brian. And I'm Sean O'Brien. And, and we're, we're America's, America's cheapest family. It's it gotta be a joke. In the summertime, when the kids are playing outside in the pool, we can utilize that afterwards to, to help clean our dishes. We save money on the water bill, we save money on the electric bill. Are we gonna become millionaires off of it? Not per se, but it's, it's gonna help us to be able to allocate that money towards a, a better purpose. See, fun and work. Who wants bacon? I do. I do. Sean and I agree that if we don't have to buy anything new, then we won't. And we'll make use with what we have. That's our lifestyle. That's our way. Our pots and pans broke. The handles broke off. And instead of going out and buying brand new pots and pans, Sean made this wrench that doubles as a handle. And the duct tape protects my hands from burning. All right, kids, bacon's ready. OK, that's, that, that's resourceful. It's I'm not mad at that. It's been 10 years since Sean and Melanie have made any significant improvements to their I'm home. Not, I'm not mad at that uh, a tool. A sacrifice that's they a claim has saved them over $30,000. That's a tool. This is where we spend most of our time, in the living room. Um, OK, where you, you can see, that, we've man. got very sparse furniture. Living room furniture can cost up to ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000, depending on what kind you're buying. Um, ours cost maybe 50 bucks. A First few months all, no ago, our shower head broke, and Sean came up with a great way to fix it. For the price of a soda bottle, he rigged it up to the shower head. Probably getting like some kind of like some kind of chemical on your skin, man. From plastic, I pro hot water, you're getting some kind of chemicals on you guys. That is serious. Uh, that I don't recommend that at all. I see a lot of health issues coming from stemming from that. It might not happen immediately, but it's gonna happen eventually. And that's a problem, guys. I don't. I don't think that's uh, hygienic or health safe, whatever you want to say. And that out of that, that that that's not it. And just poked holes in there, and now we have a brand new shower head. Look how she's saying it too. She asked her neighbors for leftovers. Okay, let's see what happens. I was just wondering if you guys had any food that you're not using, like leftovers. 
She's not proud. It's like, hey, if you're going on vacation, look you need at, to empty out your fridge. Look at her eyes. People are still willing to give her food. She walking like a model. She proudly walking, bro. Hey, Chris, how's it going? I was actually wondering if you guys had any leftovers or any food that you're not using. Um, I've got some lettuce. Sometimes I'll give her eggs and sometimes some stuff from our garden. But I know that she's very frugal, and so I know she's probably going to put it to good use somehow. Hey, <laughs> Have a good one. Hey, bye. Bye. Jordan's monthly food bill comes out to a mere $180. Thanks monthly? to creative money saving solutions. So, this is. What Firstly, how can you follow a straight diet? Like, how can you do that? Unless you're just asking them for specifics, but she says any. So she's gonna get anything that she can get. You can't follow no straight diet with that. You, I mean, like what? I, it's so many ways I could come at this, but let's watch, man. Let's see. What I like to call an end loaf. <laughs> In our house, we go through a lot of bread, and a lot of people don't like to eat the heels of bread. But oh yeah, that's true. Bubba likes it. My kids love it, and it's still good. So after a while, it makes an entire loaf worth. Jordan's been trying to find out even more ways of being a cheapskate at home. So one of the ways that she tried was dashboard cookies. Dashboard cookies? What you mean by that? Mine. She gave us some cookie dough <laughs> that was about to expire. Ooh. I bake cookies without using any power, and it doesn't make your house hot. Oh. With the car temperature at 160 degrees, she's finished baking for free in two hours. <laughs> and it's the Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> that's creative. I'm not going to lie. That's creative. And I would try that as an experiment, you know, to see if it works. But I wouldn't do that on a usual basis. I think doing it on a usual basis will be a little bit tedious if you don't have time. You know what I mean? But if you have time and you want to do it. Hey, go ahead and have fun, but that is cre that that's a very experimental, creative way in my head to bake cookies. She, but she does it often, I guess, I, or whenever she can. That's funny. This cheap thinking that's led Jordan to her newest and perhaps most extreme penny pinching plan yet. There's a new trend with backyard farming, where I think we have plenty of space in the back and we're fenced, but um. I think oh, if wait we, a minute. No, no, hear me out. <laughs> Raise a pig. Hold on, why are all these guys talking mad soft, man? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> let's go back. Let's, let's, hold on. What did he say? But, um, I think oh, if wait we, a no, no, hear me out. We could raise <laughs> a pig and then get a ton of pork out of it. You can pay upwards of three fifty per dozen for eggs. You pay 10 bucks for a chicken. Six chickens later, you're getting a half dozen eggs a day. I mean, that's incredible. That's great savings. What would our neighbors think of that? Our neighbors might think we're crazy, but I think we could prove them wrong. We could just look into it. I'm a foodie. I love everything to do with food. Ugh. I think people can enjoy Where are your seasonings at, baby? Where are your seasonings at, bro? You put two eggs with no seasonings in sight. This guy, he don't love food. Enjoy a foodie lifestyle Bro, you, on a why cheap you lying? budget. Bro. Every dollar we spend on anything other than food is a waste. Oh my. I got the apartment a few years ago. I don't see the need to spend money on furniture. I'm a floor guy. I sit on the floor and it's very comfortable. Hey, yo, this gotta be a joke, man. Somebody confirm this information for me. If, if Chief's case is like a... A joke where they set up scenarios to record because bro you don't have any furniture at all and and he's serious i don't know if i it's kind of i know some people may do that but i'm finding this hard to believe bro i can't believe this i don't want to believe this bro i want to believe this is fake I mean, it's just tossing money into the trash receptacle that's what i think of furniture Okay, at least he has knives to open the box. I worked for a cookware company that always puts on displays, presentations. And um, what happens is a lot of manufacturers send me samples of their product. <laughs> nah, bro. 
It's not, nah. He's not, he's not. He's not doing that. That's not how he's living. That is not what he's doing in his life, man. He ain't doing that, bro. Nah, that's... I can't believe that. That is just... What I did was I found some two by fours and these are styrofoam peanuts. So I just take all the peanuts, throw them in there, and then I cover it up with bubble wrap. And then this is a tablecloth and it makes a perfect bed. The average cost to furnish a one bedroom house is $2,000 and clothing expenses for a single professional can reach $400 a year. Ron spends a total of $20 decking out both his house. Nah, this gotta be, bro, two shirts? Nah, it, guys, guys, <clears throat> guys, hold on. Hold on for real, for real. Wait a second, bro. Nah, this is not his house. This is a random house that they found that's not furnished. And they're doing all this stuff, bro. My head is spinning with all kinds of... I want to say 20 things at one time. What the heck is he? He probably makes enough money to do what he wants. Bro, somebody help me, man. Somebody help me. I'm, I'm lost. And his closet. One, two, three shirts and two pairs of shorts. And that's it. <laughs> and by the way, I own no underwear and no socks. Bro, we're done with this video. No underwear and no socks? Look at him. Look at him, bro. This is a lie, bro. This is a lie, man. That's why he don't have no wife. If this is true, that's why he's not. He don't got no lady. I teach cooking classes. Oh, you know, no when I go to do uh, any kind of demos, I take this all with me. I set up shop and basically do presentations to help people understand that you don't have to have a lot of money to eat well. Bro. Ready to refresh your style with Stitch Fix? First, tell us how you like your clothes to fit, the colors you like. Taking showers outside, washing all my clothes at the same time, saves me so much money. You get to get your shower, you get to get your clothing clean, and you didn't spend a dime. It warms up after a while. I never care what other people think. Um, they'll look at me and I'll get looks. And you know what? I want to take a shower, but I'm saving a whole lot of money. And what's wrong with that? Each time Ron showers and does laundry at the beach, he saves $1.89 on water, energy, and detergent bills. Well. People in Southern California go to the beach a lot, and the most important thing is they drink wine, and they throw sometimes bottles out that contain wine. find any I'll pour it into the tube it's going right into the box if you want to go out and have a drink you're probably going to be spending at least ten dollars for a glass of Cabernet or Merlot this way of finding wine costs you nothing I can't think of anything more exciting than getting something for free these are lambs quarters a weed that's completely edible part of the spinach family Fresh cilantro costs about $1.99 a bunch. Popolo is a weed growing all over Los Angeles, and it's known as the summer cilantro. By picking wild Bro, herbs... people be spitting on the floor. <clears throat> people spit on the floor all the time. This...
bro, I can't continue this video knowing that this is this is real. Like, this has to be fake, bro. Somebody really helped me in the comments, man. Somebody. Herbs and vegetables growing in the cracks of the street. I would say I save at least $40 a month. Who locks trash? Excellent. Oh, yeah. Lots of lobster. Look at this. This is a gold mine, man. The shells are great. You know, you throw them into a pot of water, and all the meat will boil right out. When I pick up a discarded shell, I'm seeing all kinds of meat. I'm seeing things that weren't eaten within that lobster. Wonderful. That this are extremely gross. valuable, especially when you're paying, what, $30, $35 a pound at least? Look at this. I mean, who leaves the table like this? Wow. Delicious. I this nasty. Was he lying. He lying. Uncle just happened to show I, bro, I almost threw up, man. Our family. I almost threw up on that day. We would love to have you, Terrence. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We would love to have you. <laughs> He's That's lying too. Budget. Man, they lying on this show, but man. It's our family dinner, so I'm gonna splurge. I'm gonna do my thing, and they're gonna be happy. They're lying on this thing, bro. I Why he look like a the happiest guy retired pastor? I felt that I was going to eat like a champion. It's gonna be really top notch and it's gonna be very expensive. He said very expensive. You can imagine the dismay on everyone's face when he pulls up to a Chinese buffet. Aha! I couldn't believe it. All I can see was food stacked upon each other. It don't even we look good. Fine dining. This is fine dining. Look at this. Feel the veneer of the table. What about one time eating something that we want to eat that's really nice? Yeah, you're gonna have whatever you want. A oh, buffet? You're gonna like Come the food on. here. You guys don't seem very hungry. You want to sit and talk for a while. Oh, so no, like we're just you upset. Know. We want to leave. That's you're, what we want to do. I'm upset. You're... She, they are upset. We want to leave. Hey. We want to go to yeah. find well, out. Well, have you ever well, trusted well. me? At least give it a try. We at least agree to give it a try. Bro. I guess we're here. We're not going anywhere else. Okay. My family is showing a distinct lack of appreciation. All right, I'm going to go, and, uh, and I'm going to make sure that everybody's happy. All right, folks. There you go. What, what is that? That's our food. Uh... He grabbed three plates thinking he was going to pay for three people. But there were six of us. You wouldn't it, pay for three that's plates? That's delicious. I know I got your favorites. <laughs> Only pay for three plates? If I have more than this number of plates, then I have to pay for more people. He looks so sad. That's a lot of food. I thought he'd pay for each of us to eat. For us to share, that was unacceptable. I was so mortified that he would even suggest it. Got her own plate, but I expect you to pay for it. That's it. <laughs> this is not the food that I hope for. Sure, dear. I mean, come on, pizza. This is just so good. Okay, what is this? That's that's fine dining, mother. That right, looks like a wet noodle. Ugh. Well, I'll tell you what. Next year, you don't get to choose. Being at home and him doing things cheap is okay that's nasty, to some man. degree. But when we're in public, it's not good. It's embarrassing because people might be in earshot or looking. That's your track, sir. Oh, no. $92.28. That's literally all my change. He is going to pay $92 with quarters, nickels, and dimes. I've been saving for this all year. When Terrence walked in with this huge bag of coins, I wanted to hide under the table. You're really <laughs> embarrassing everybody here. I am not embarrassing anybody. I saved and scrimped for this money. I just thought that look was at the, the most look at the guy. <laughs> in my life. 
I just can't imagine. This is really happening. I'm just Did embarrassed. We're not going to stay. Wait around. Yeah, don't wait around for that. So That's here it is. Crazy. I'm starting to count out all my change. You know, doing my thing. You know, my wife is standing there, and she's like. <laughs> Uh, I don't believe this. 92.10. We just couldn't believe that he was really counting those pennies, and I couldn't believe that he was actually going through with it. I have never seen anyone pay for the with the coins. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for appreciating my tip. Oh, man. That is crazy. Hey, listen, guys. I am just speechless when it comes to these broke. What the heck? Okay, it's one thing paying with quarters, but pennies and... Oh, man, that one guy before, though. The one guy... The one guy that was taking a shower in public with his clothes on. That guy was a liar, bro. He ate the lobster, talking about, yeah, it's good. I saw his face, and y'all saw his face, too. He didn't like that sh uh, lobster. He was grossed out. I could tell how he was digging. Bro, I almost threw up watching him do that. He got paid for the show. He got. He definitely got paid for the show, man. They, I think these people are getting paid for this. I think they're getting paid for this, guys. Y'all let me know, man. Really? For real? I gotta, I'm got. i going to do another reaction to, a, to another one. But y'all got to let me know, man. Is this real or fake? Or is some real and some fake? Because what I've seen is unbelievable. And I know there's cheapskates everywhere. And I know some people really have extreme levels of how, of what they're cheap about. But some of these ones, man, I think these are like written out. Like, I think these are scripted. But let me know in the comments. Drop your thoughts. Which one of these cheapskates you thought was the worst or the most disgusting. Whichever one you want to take. Drop. Get in my comments guys. Let's get it. Let's go. It's Idiot TV. Peace.